So I think it's time we talk a little bit about productions. The reason for this is because unfortunately there is a lot of people who have a big misconception about productions and are, to say politely, freaking out over nothing. This all arose from when I tweeted some news a few days ago regarding Bleach's production. That tweet of course being, Production recently started. How it will look has been decided. Possible later release and planned but no date has been confirmed. No date is good, which means no rushing. COVID did possibly push things back. Hashtag pray for bleach that looks how we all want it to. Now I can understand the hashtag may be a bit worrying to some and maybe it was a bit of a poor choice of words, so to say. However, the backlash seemed to actually arose from talking about the production starting now. Because however, it seems to be that since the announcement for Bleach in March 2020 was the announcement, people kind of presume that that's when production starts, which isn't the case at all. Now, of course, it's understandable. I don't expect the average normie or the average consumer to understand how production works, and that's completely fine. However, there's a lot of people that think they do, and it causes a bit of an upset. So, hopefully this video can clarify a little bit about productions, as well as some news here and there as well. Just because an anime is announced doesn't mean that pre-production has initially started. And it is actually very rare that series do get announced before pre-production or even production has already started. For example, the last case of this was One Punch Man Season 2, where it was announced three years before we actually got the additional product. Now granted, that production was a big mess. It just was, it was rushed. The production committee wanted a product ASAP. Madhouse couldn't do it, so they gave it to someone else and that it was just a big mess. So nothing like this context whatsoever. There's many series now that I could tell you about, which I'm not allowed to, that are, you know, green lit as of right now, but there's no announcements and that's because of, I guess, stuff like this, right? You have to understand that the Bleach 20th anniversary was an event for many different things and not just the anime. That was for the expo and that was also to promote Burn the Witch. The Bleach anime was just a cornerstone to push that excitement into people and get people talking about Bleach again. It wasn't anime based. Yes, the anime announcement was huge, but the fundamental reason of why the anime was announced was to push its other marketing material. Now, did pre-production start as soon as the announcement happened? Absolutely not. It was possible that pre-production started six months after because pre-production is so important, even more so than the production itself because that's where everything gets planned. That's where you have to hire certain people. That's how you gotta make sure that people are available to do the work in the first place. Understanding how the anime itself will look in and of itself. For example, the pre-production phase, you know, has to go through production committees, talking about how it's gonna be looking with the original author and the anime studio itself, finding the anime studio itself, finding script writers and scenario writers, a director, a color designer, art designers, character designers, etc etc getting episode directors too so getting those fundamental pieces before a production even starts you know if you remember maybe if you're on twitter you would you would have seen me kind of talk about how Harriet are actually looking at hiring people as of recently as well and those will be your future like key animators and those in-betweeners when the production actually starts so getting those fundamental pieces before production even starts is probably the most mundane and the most, you know, taxing, uh, especially mentally when it comes to deciding how something is going to look and how it's going to be displayed, how many cores it's going to be, what TV station is it going to be on, what time zone is it going to be on, and what censorship do they need to be aware of. You know, those fundamental pieces are probably the longest, tedious things that they can do for pre-production. And when production starts, you know, pre-production doesn't stop, especially if it's a long producing anime as well, such as like your Black Clovers and your One Piece. His pre-production never really stops. But in terms of like, you know, Bleach's case, like they need to get it right because they really can't, you know, retract you know, straight away. So they have to make sure they get it completely right. Now, of course, COVID has affected many things. Of course, like, you know, for, for example, Deer King, a random series that maybe some of you may have heard of, that series in and of itself uh, started in 2019 and is only just getting released this year. So that's been in production for quite a while. And you know, it looks great. You know, I'm glad that they managed to push back the date of their initial release and actually put out a decent product and not, you know, do a Seven Deadly Sins and still make it look bad. But COVID has affected a lot of people and you know I kind of appreciate that maybe Perry up maybe want people in-house especially with how ingrained of a project this is that they want to keep you know tight-lipped you know they probably want to keep an eye on their staff as well who's coming in and out of the studio themselves so again I'm talking as if it is Perry up we don't actually know I mean I'm very 
certain that it is Piero, but for argument's sake, I'll just say we're ambiguous to it at the moment. I don't think that this is a bad thing, and the fact that it's in production now and it's starting now doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to be at Jump Festa. Sure, the Super Stages did get announced today and there was no Bleach, but neither was Boruto and neither was Black Clover, which was really weird to me because, you know, Boruto is having, well, Naruto and Boruto are having an anniversary next year, I believe. Black Clover's getting a, a, a movie, which I believe that started production not long ago as well. And not long can mean anything from like weeks to a few months. So, you know, it, it's within that time frame. It, it, it's preposterous to me, and especially Reddit. Reddit absolutely love me if you don't know one one person said that they were going to screenshot my tweet so if there was ever like you know a, a key visual or a pv at jump festa then it's like a gotcha moment to me not knowing anything you've got to understand that production on an anime is a production on an anime if you already have you know character designers uh key animators if you already have those things fundamentally within the pre-production stage you can still create a key visual and you know, I still believe in my mind that I think it is going to be in Jump Fest that a key visual because it is the simplest form of marketing, right? To create a key visual and say, hey, this is how it's going to look. This is what the character's designs are going to look like. You know, just like with Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man had a, had a key visual. It probably took him less than a day to make that. I know for a fact that the, the PV for Chainsaw Man only took maybe like a month or two to make and that's uh, that was pre-animation and pre-animation is basically like it's not you know how it's going to look essentially it's just like a teaser as far as I was aware with Chainsaw Man is that they hired you know these animators specifically for this trailer so these weren't clips from the anime they might use them I don't know but that's pre-animation right so there is a chance that we can still get a key visual because again it takes less than a day to make a key visual maybe a week at tops or we could get a PV and it could be pre-animated you know they could have a separate team that works on it specifically we don't know all that matters is that you know we might not get bleach until late 2022 early 2023 and you know what that's fine it just really is. It's not that big of a deal. You know, COVID affected everyone. I would rather a good product than one that's rushed out because you guys as the fans are so impatient. No, I get it. Like, I do. We've waited since 2016. I know more than anyone. However, I would rather see this amazing arc doing absolutely justice and have it talked about for weeks and weeks on end than people slamming it like Seven Deadly Sins or Record of Ragnarok, right? Or heaven forbid, Black Clover right I, I i don't want that and i would rather wait and i don't see what the issue is here we're out of the pre-planning stage and we're in production pen to paper things are getting made from here on out and we'll get even more news as time goes on so please get this notion out of the i, I guess the generic mindset that as soon as an anime gets announced that production has started because that generally isn't the case you know again bleach is the exception to the rule because there's there's not that many series that i can recall from the top of my head anyway that you know that announce something before pre-production has even started. This was a little gift for the fans because we've been waiting for so long and appreciate that, you know? Let time do its thing. Let Nakano, let Shueisha do their thing because they know they don't want to fuck this up because this is a long-term project. One Punch Man season two was like 12 episodes. It wasn't a long-term project. This is, and they're not going to lose massive amounts of money just to throw it down the drain. Also, this morning as well, Jump Festa showed their super stages. These super stages consisted of One Piece, Dr. Stone, My Hero Academia, and, and Jujutsu Kaisen, I believe. Many people were upset because Black Clover wasn't on there and only was there for merchandising kind of advertisements. But these, uh, these four series are, are getting super stages. And do you know what? That's fine. Because if I remember last year too, there was also some stages that hadn't been announced as well. So these were kind of like the, this is happening, this is the start, here are your fundamental super stages and then we had some surprise stages as well which you know could change as the weeks go on people are getting pissed off because oh there's no Boruto there's no there's no Black Clover there's no Bleach again if, if things have happened with Bleach like like we've just discussed that they are chances are they probably aren't going to you know show anything yet you know like I, I i'm not i'm not expecting a super stage again i don't even really know the difference with a super stage really in comparison as long as we get a stage in general i'm not too overly fussed uh this will be online and in real life as well so we're gonna get to see some really cool stuff and, and merchandise and promos at the event itself which is gonna be cool we're also gonna be able to see the events because it's gonna be live streamed as well so that's gonna be really cool to see uh, all of these series make sense in another own right because they are i guess you could say the staples of anime 
within Shueisha and Shonen Jump, so it makes sense. Uh, Black Clover, again, I, I don't know what to really think of Black Clover because I know it's going to have a movie, but it is a stage, just a super stage anyway, justified of a movie announcement. Like, what else does Black Clover really have to offer at this stage? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Boruto, again, that was surprising because it has an anniversary. So who knows what they're going to do with that next year. And again, Bleach, I feel like Bleach would only make sense if you had Burn the Witch news as well. And if you were going to show like a trailer, but going currently, it doesn't seem like that's the case. And it seems like to me, we're still just going to get a key visual. But look, I want a PV more than anyone. And I will try and damage control it as much as I can. But nothing is really screaming out to me that this is the case as of right now. However, if my mind does change, I will flip that uh, opinion. However, we are getting some Bleach news next week in regards to the expo. But I wouldn't worry too much about the anime as a whole because Kubo did say on Club Outside, and I only say this just to just to reassure you guys, you know, anyways, I, I, I wouldn't have really shared it. But to be honest, I do feel like you guys really need it right now. So Kubo basically says, I've been fluttering with Bleach's exposition and all the anime. It's hard, but it's fun to do things I've never done before. Now, if you know anything about Kubo, he's not going to make the anime look like shit. And the simple fact of, like, he jumped onto the original anime before because of the Bount arc. The Bount arc was done so terribly that he felt genuinely sick and got himself involved with the anime studio and the original Bleach anime. So I don't think that Kubo is going to make this look like shit. If anything, everything's telling me that they're doing this correctly. They haven't given a date, which again is great because they're not at the moment constricted to a time schedule. So it doesn't seem to me that Shueisha is trying to rush this out as quick as possible, which is fantastic because you're not rushing your team you're not rushing your animators you're having a good pace in worth ethic in regards to that kubo seems to be having fun with the project at all like it's hard for him like of course there's a lot for him to do especially with the expo and burn the witch and the bleach chapter and the anime like my man's working like a madman and keeping up content for the club kubo website as well you know but he doesn't seem to be disappointed with how things are going right now he's very vocal usually with with how he is with things so it seems like he's he's having a good time with it so you know have some faith i don't think that this is a bad thing sure we're gonna get it later than what we expected it to big whoopty fucking do a few months maybe you know six months max late 2022 whoopty do we're still gonna get content in between that we're still gonna get trailers we're still gonna get key visuals there's still gonna be a lot to talk about and there's gonna be news leading up to the episode drops as well so i wouldn't stress that too much about it anyway so tell me what you guys think anyway about the news and the production side of things tell me you guys like did i make things a little bit better for you if not then i guess i'll go fuck myself other than that i'm gonna catch you motherfuckers that you guys of course have this fine debit enhanced and as always people peace out